Revolution Golfer is Martin Chuck here and welcome to the studio at the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. I want to talk about a really important subject that not too many guys talk about and that is the inertia and momentum and how the club works and its role and how it's going to help you shallow properly and effectively hit your best shots. So as I hold this golf club right here and I start to rotate, what do you think is going to happen? As I go around in a circle before I get too dizzy, you can see that that club went from hanging straight down, and this is without power from my hand, inertia and momentum created this condition as I got spinning around me. Well, think about that, how it relates in a golf swing. And I'll do, I'll draw a couple of lines on here to help with this. As I address a golf ball, you can see that my torso, my forward flex, this is me at my 5'9 height right here, bent over, booty back and a little bent over. Now as I rotate, my arms don't, aren't going to swing around me on that angle. My arms are going to travel in a little bit of a steeper angle. So I've got a difference where my arms are going relative to where my body's rotating. My left shoulder is working down, my right shoulder is working back up and behind me. So if I hit a shot, you'll see that. And I'll slow this down for you so you can see it more clearly. Just a typical swing right here. A nice feeling shot. Now, if you are relaxed, and this is where relaxation plays a big role in this. I don't mean sloppy, I mean structurally relaxed. As I held the club here and spun around, you could see that this would match, that it would go perpendicular to my rotation. I'm rotating this way, the club's gonna go perpendicular to that rotation. Well, as a golfer, if we're bent over, here's the angle I'm bent over. Guess what's perpendicular to that? 90 degrees to that is right here. Well, if I get up to my top of backswing and I'm structurally organized and I start to rotate, that golf club is gonna seek to shallow and get perpendicular to that rotation. That is the shallowing move. That is a very, very important move. And how do you do it? Well, you know, it's interesting when I coach kids, uh, like my son Jackson or a bunch of the kids that I get to, I've, I've taught over the years, they're not super strong at six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, like an adult would be. An adult can manhandle the weight and inertia of that golf club, where a kid slings it back, and then when they rotate, a lot of it is that golf club falls into the perpendicular, not quite, but starts to work into that relationship as they unwind. And Revolution golfers, if the golf club is going this direction, the only thing it can do is orbit inside out. You don't have to try to swing inside out. I get so many golfers that come to the Tour Striker Golf Academy and this is what their practice swing looks like. They take this swing and they're doing something like that. Well, I don't know how beneficial it is to hit the, golf, hit the ground back here. So don't try to swing inside out. Every circle has inside out in it. Here's a Ferris wheel, there's a merry-go-round, there is golf, there is down and inside out and up and over the top and down and inside out. Every circle has inside out in it if we allow some things to work in our favor. So what am I saying here? How am I trying to tie all this up? Part of it is learn how to relax. Learn and understand that if you have a decent backswing pivot, if you let your lead shoulder work under your chin and your trail shoulder work up back and behind you, and your arms are structurally comfortable, not spaghetti noodles, and you unwind, the weight of that golf club is going to want to fall behind you as you rotate, as you open and unwind your body. If in fact you do that, you get all the inside out rotational power you deserve. So this isn't so much a lesson of me saying, here, do this, Revolution Golfers. This is me sharing some thoughts to inspire you to think, oh, okay, wait a second, if I held the club like this, and then I rotate really hard, it's gonna to wanna to fall perpendicular to my rotation. Well, in golf, it's the same thing. If, we want, if we're unwinding and want to do the same thing, and Revolution Golfers, I know that is what you covet. You wanna hit those powerful shots with a little baby drop bias. And if you think about this lesson, it's gonna help you do that. So Martin Chuck signing off from the Raven Golf Club in Phoenix, Arizona. You know where to post your questions and comments, and I'll get to as many as I can. Thanks for watching. And by the way, Revolution Golfers, for those of you that are members, thank you. And for those of you that aren't, you might consider becoming a member because you asked me questions below and I answered 120 of them last week, which I'm happy to do. 
but sometimes I've already done videos on the subject many times. And, and so if you go to the search bar above, type in uh, shallowing or extension or follow through, you'll get great videos by the faculty members. And there's a benefit in that. You can go back and you can search them. So anyway, the RG Plus membership is a great way to go and it's, it's pennies. So Revolution Golfers, thanks for watching.